Joining me right now is the director of the Center for Technology and Innovation at the Competitive Enterprise Institute, Jessica Malusian. And Jessica, you study major issues around innovation and technology like antitrust and, and censorship. Do you see any issues here? Well, I think not as much in the antitrust world, but this is huge news for the content moderation conversation that we've been having on both sides of the political aisle. I mean, this is like where capitalism really gets exciting, right? Because this is how markets are supposed to work. There's a lot of dissatisfaction with the censorship issues online, and now someone has come in to fill that void and hopefully give users some great new options and make some really positive changes at Twitter. Yeah, I mean, this deal could mean a massive windfall for founder Jack Dorsey. $978 million is what he's poised to make when this deal closes. Twitter CEO Parag Agrawal, also uh, along with the board chair Brett Taylor and former chair Omid uh, Kurdistani, could also be part of this massive payday. What are your thoughts on uh, this payday? Uh, suddenly, they're uh, really in favor of this deal after that uh, <laughs> increase from uh, Elon Musk. Yeah, it's funny how that works, isn't it? Um, yeah, I mean, that's all part of how this system works, too. Um, these guys are going to make a lot of money, but hopefully every user of Twitter is going to get a better experience, and every user of even other social media platforms is going to benefit from the pressure that Twitter's putting on. If, they, if Elon can really figure out how to make this a better experience and fix some of the problems that we talk about, um, that's good for everyone. I mean, not as good as the the, the paydays we're talking about with those guys, but it's still yeah. a net benefit to everybody who uses social media. Jessica, everybody knows that this program has been very critical of the Chinese Communist Party's behavior, and we have really zeroed in on the CCP being a massive adversary uh, to America. But the, the tweet from Jeff Bezos uh, <laughs> is somewhat rich. The founder of Amazon tweeting last night after Musk's Twitter deal was announced, asking this quote-unquote interesting question. <laughs> Did the Chinese government just gain a bit of leverage in the town square? Uh, what are your thoughts on this uh, tweet? He then replied with a, a quote, my own answer to this question is probably not. Maybe he got a call from somebody to, to say, uh, <laughs> tamp it down. Your thoughts on what Jeff Bezos is trying to put out there here? Well, I think it's always amusing to uh, get to watch billionaires poke at each other. Uh, it's an American pastime these days. Uh, listen, I don't—I I think he was asking the question to be provocative and, you know, trying to maybe be polite at the end there. But I, I don't think any of these guys have their hands clean of the China conflicts, um, and, and they all have something to, to clean up and deal with, and they all need to be mindful of that negative influence on their, on their businesses. Yeah, I mean, I wonder, you know, if he had an opportunity to get in China, would he, right? Uh, although, of course, Alibaba uh, owns that purview. <laughs> Jessica, it's great, great to see you. Thanks very much for weighing in on all of that. We will uh, keep watching this big story. Jessica Malusian joining us. Thank you so much.